seeing as how we have the gut brain connection, we seeing as how microbes have their way of communicating with us, is this the super highway that is used for psychedelics? Because we're ingesting, and yet everything's going off up here in the brain, mm -hmm. but not so much down in the gut. So. Is well, this there a is sort of exploration there's, there's here? There's a lot of things going on in the gut that we don't know yet. Like serotonin plays a big role, as, as, as you know, with uh, okay. the psychedelic experiences, uh, activating a particular serotonin receptor, the 5-H2A receptor, which is in, in, in the brain. So these psychedelic experiences, seem to, many of them seem to be related to that receptor in, in the brain. Now, the same receptor is also in the gut and on microbes. Mm. And we don't know what effect um, this actually has. But one thing is also... And it can't be an accident, right? It's not an accident. It's a co-evolutionary yeah, yeah. thing, right, okay. So is the, is the mind desperate to try and expand? And that's why it's so active to find something like these psychedelics and then just whiz them up to the brain. Yeah, I mean, humans have probably used psychedelics for a long, long time. Long, long time. Long, long time. And based on the experiences, probably initially by accident that they ingested a mushroom and all of a sudden saw the world... Is that the sort of, when you talk about in evolution, the, just by accident eating a mushroom, is that sort of the beginning of a stoned ape theory of That's evolution? That's a phrase, stoned yeah. ape? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Is. What, is, what is the stoned ape? I mean, I've been to the zoo, but I've never seen them, you know, an ape well, get high. Just, <laughs> well, I, would love, I would just love to sit there and watch a chimpanzee <laughs> tripping its balls off. I would love that, but I haven't had the pleasure. So. Well, in, out in the wild, I'm guessing they'll stumble across a mushroom, be curious, and eat it and go, whoa. So isn't the basis of where Gary's coming from, why do we have receptors for psychedelics at all? Mm. Unless it was the purview of the microbiome that delighted in it. Yeah, that's a really interesting question. I, I, I can't really answer it. I can only say partially based on personal experience. I guess I can say this here, even though it's, you know, it's, 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 it's not... I'm not recommending for people to... I am. To, I'm to, recommending to, for you to do it. <laughs> All right, the, the good doctor here can't. I'm letting you know, everybody should do psychedelics. I mean, I can't do it for legal, medical, legal reasons. Okay. Okay. And, and sue me, please, but do it. <laughs> but the experience, you know, that you have, and everybody says it's, it's, uh, it's a universal human experience. It's Correct. not that one person gets this, this, this realization of the interconnectedness of yourself with the, with the your environment, your, the planet, like you get a totally different paradigm. Oh, like yes, that, without that, a doubt. Wait, wait, so you, Chuck, you... Oh, God, yes. You missed a few shows a few <laughs> while did. back because you... you I, I traveled you, to Costa Rica to do to, ayahuasca for an entire week. Wow. And uh, I will tell you that it changed my entire life. It changed my perspective on everything. Did you get funnier? Not at all. <laughs> and that and you know what? While I was in my one of my uh one, while I was in one of my uh trans meditative states, uh Mother Aya came to me and said, I I, I can't help you with the funny son. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So just to be clear, when you did this, it was yeah. a fully supervised oh, got you. activity. Yeah. I, you know, they are licensed, they're fully supervised, okay. and they have medical staff it wasn't, on, on hand. It wasn't somebody who sold you something on the no, street. No, nobody on the street. And you did it in a back alley. by the way, now that I do not recommend. I say please find a professional and have somebody there to supervise, make sure that there's medical staff on hand. Do not go to somebody's house, mm -hmm. okay, and do not go to some dude with a ponytail who's just like, dude, I've been a shaman for like so long now, and I would love to turn you on to the universe. Yeah. But okay. if he doesn't have a ponytail, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's and it's not a party drug. No, and, no it's not. not no. Yeah, okay. yeah. If you're looking to get high, don't do it, because it's not that kind of high. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, so like one of my speculations is, I mean, again, partially based on, on, on self-experience. So there's different phases to the psychedelic experience. You know, there's the, the initial, you know, rush that you get and the, with a lot of visual and auditory experiences. But then it has this long-lasting effect. I mean, at least 24 hours that you notice it if you pay attention to it with your ability to communicate and to talk that you've never talked like this before about yourself and your emotions. And and then even past that one experience, a lot of people say that one experience, just like you said, can have a, a life-changing effect because from now on, you're going to look at the world differently. So I, I, that's easy to understand knowing that it interferes with brain neurosynapses. How does that connect back to the gut? Ooh. Well, the slow effect, you know, I mean, the thing that what happens in your brain initially is a fast 
response. It's being absorbed in the small intestine. Oh, because you ingest it. Yeah, you ingest and it. And it's got to get through your, so mm. it only gets to your brain as the as the microbiome allows it. Right, <laughs> true. But yeah. it's, it's the part that is not absorbed in your small intestine, which happens immediately after ingestion. It's the part that goes down, down into your into colon, the and then yeah. these longer-lasting effects. I would not be surprised if they're mediated by microbial. Uh, you know, they add things to it. When they stimulate it with the 5-HDA 2A receptor, they produce other molecules that then create this long-term experience. 